Some parts of Lagos witnessed election violence and destruction which disrupted the process. Plus TV correspondent Loretta Chiogo takes a look at events during the day. In neighboring Bega area of Lagos State, voting process was smooth, but the turnout was low. Madam Ruth from Oyo State lives in Lagos. She said her interest is to see better developments in all facets of the economy in her lifetime. She spoke alongside others. Anybody that wants to rule well must visit the grassroots. People like uh, our American uh, government that we studied when we were in the university, they were always traveling in buses, in, in, uh, in trains, trying to see how people live. So that when they get back to their own air condition, they know that people, what the people need. And they don't feel that they are there to put money in their pockets. Yeah, anybody that wants to rule must be ready to make sacrifices. People say they are making sacrifices, but we don't see it. Governor and also the assembly is a grassroots. I pray that any governor that are coming in will take care of the people in his heart. We don't want uh, rulers anymore in Nigeria. While the process was peaceful elsewhere, Agopala's way was chaotic. That Nigeria here, the Nigerian youth, some of them are very, very useless, useless. hopeless. Yeah. We are just them. there for them to cast vote from the last stone. stone. Throwing everything. everything. Before you knew it, the, the, uh, this, uh, this uh, people that said that there is no, the river is no longer working. That the, the, the river is no longer working. Okay, they should wait that they were, they're going to repair the, the river or they are going to replace it. They are waiting calmly before those boys come. And they, I mean, they came. And they started throwing stone, throwing <laughs> bottle, throwing everything. everything. Well, so look at, look at they, it's full of more, more than three, four uh, voting units. They destroy everything it's and it. they went away with the battle bus. As usual during every election period, cases of ballot box snatching and destruction were recorded. Homes were not spared. See, we, are, we went to our polling units to vote, but the talks came to threaten us. You can see over there, if the camera can turn over there, you can see 008 pulling units. You can see that our ballot papers have been scattered. They were throwing bottles, they were throwing stones at us, they are threatening us away. I believe this is Nigeria. And as far as your 18 years of age, you have the full right to exercise your civic rights. I don't know why we are threatening. We have our candidates. We should be allowed to vote. The arrival of the police was not enough to douse tension. As at the time of this report, a pause was put on the election process. Loretta Chiogo, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.